Girl, so this is going to be a fun little trying to conceive video and this is going to be my top seven fertility or trying to conceive tips. Um, these are things that I have used through our trying to conceive journey and I think that they would be beneficial to anybody that's watching this video or to couples or women that are currently trying to conceive. I want to put in a little bit of a disclaimer and let you guys know that if you try any of these methods, it's probably best that you speak to your doctor first. My first tip would be to take ovulation tests or OPKs twice a day and then back it up with your BBT. Or basically the reason why I say to take your ovulation test twice a day, sometimes you could take it either too soon or too late and not be able to catch your surge and miss ovulation. So it's best to take them at least mid-afternoon, mid-morning, and then later at night. You can confirm ovulation the day after with your BBT. I have more information down below. I'm not going to go into too much depth of charting your cycle just because it would make for a very lengthy video. So I will have a blog post to um, everything. Second tip is to avoid acidic foods during your fertile week. And the reason why I say this is because eating acidic foods can disrupt your natural pH balance and make a very unfriendly environment for sperm to live in. So it's best to avoid that during your fertile week. Um, at least take those out of your diet, you know, a couple days beforehand just to be on the safe side. Third tip, take 250 milligrams of vitamin C from cycle day one until you ovulate, or you can teaspoons of Robitussin from cycle day 10 until you ovulate. The reason why I say either or is because um, both help aid in fertile CM. Vitamin C has known to help increase um, fertile CM and promote CM. Um, as well as Robitussin. I have personally used both and they both have worked perfectly fine for me. My fourth tip would be to use soft cups or diva cups. Basically what these are, they can be used for menstruation but they can also be used for trying to conceive purposes. So basically what you would do is you would um, baby dance with your partner and then insert these cups um, close to your cervix to help keep sperm close bit an hour or so after. Pretty fairly easy to use. They're very um, easy to insert and to remove. Um, I believe the soft cup is reusable but the Diva cups are not. If you want to know more again I will have links down below. Fifth tip would be to drink green smoothies and I actually have a recipe that I do um, every single day and it's for a fertility green smoothie. I will have my blog post down below. Um, I do, I drink them every day, um, it definitely has helped me, definitely, I definitely think that it's improving my overall, overall health and my fertility health. My sixth tip would be to try yoga for fertility and there are a lot of free videos here on YouTube that are aimed towards fertility. Um, you know, during the trying to conceive journey and, you know, life in general, it can be very stressful and stress can impact fertility up to 30% or more. So it's definitely good to kind of de-stress at the end of the day and reconnect with your mind and body. Um, even if you don't like yoga, you can always do, do a detox bath or read a book or do something that will help you clear your mind a little bit. And my last tip would be to use a fertility friendly lubricant, pre-seed or baby oil. Pre-seed can be a little bit pricey so it might be a better alternative to use baby oil. I've heard a lot of people using coconut oil but I'm not too sure about that one. Well, that's pretty much it for my fertility tips. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more videos like this. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys for my next video.